Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on using OWA, which is the Finn and Park Outlook web app for email. In this introduction, I'm going to show you the basic features of OWA, including how to send an email, how to use an, an, how to use your address box, and some basic pointers on email etiquette. Notice that even though it's a staff Outlook web app, the view for students is exactly the same. So the first thing you need to know is that you can log into OWA just using your normal network username and password. So I'm going to put mine in now. And then I've logged in and I'm just going to move this over to here. And what you've got once you're inside OWA is this view here. I've got a list of the emails that I've been sent and there's a panel which you can't see over on the right hand side of my most recent email. Um, these little paper clips here show that somebody sent me an attachment or a file and on the left hand side are my inbox and mine is organized into folders so that emails from different people go straight into those folders. There's my sent items and that shows me which ones I've sent and emails that I've got deleted. Okay, So remember it's very important that you remember that the sent items will show all the emails that you have sent so do think carefully about what you say and how you say it when you're sending somebody an email because we can track it. At the top here we've got um, some commands which are used new is what happens if what you click if you want to send a new email and we'll look at that in a minute. Delete allows you to delete obviously an email. Move you can move it from one folder to another. Filter, we could use if we were really trying to look for specific things. And view, again, you could use that for, for grouping by specific conversations and things like that. You're probably not going to want to bother with that for the moment. And then what we're going to focus on instead is how to actually send an email for the moment. So if I click uh, New, And what you'll see is a box, which is a very straightforward interface. All it shows me is a standard kind of appearance for a webmail app. At the top, you've got the option to, to, to send your email. Yeah. There you can save an email that you've got in progress. Attach file, we'll look at attaching files as well while we're doing this. Insert picture, use your address book. And those are the main ones you're going to going to need. Import, setting importance is a useful thing as well. That means if you've got a particularly urgent message, you can click the exclamation mark, and a little red exclamation mark will appear in the inbox of the person to whom you're sending the email. Now, the mo some of the most important bits are here. You must have an address in here. So two would be what you would need to click if you wanted to send the email address the email to somebody and CC stands for carbon copy and what that means is if you want somebody else to read the email as well as the person to whom you're sending it you make sure that you click CC and put their email address in there and when you use CC everybody who receives that email will see the email address of the other people so if you don't want people to see your email address don't put them don't use CC. We'll talk a bit more about that later. This box is also very important, the subject box. Every email must have a subject. Don't send an email with this box blank. The subject is just a short summary of the text or the content of the email. It only needs to be a few words long. So here is my box which I use to type my email and here are the formatting tools if I want to change the appearance. So. I'm going to send an email initially just to myself. You can send an email to yourself and I'm just using this as an example. Obviously you won't be sending emails to yourself. Though sometimes it's useful. In the to box, if you know an email address, you can type it straight in. Um, but if you don't know an email address, you'll need to use the contacts feature. So if I click to, obviously I do know my own email address, but I'm going to just show you an example. If I wanted to send an email, if I wanted to look for the person and I didn't know their address, I could put their name in there in the search box here. So I'd put their first name, so make sure I'd spelt it right, and, cl and click the magnifying glass, and it would search 
for that person and then I could just double click on their name and add it. Um, when you add an email address, whoops, it appears at the bottom here in the to box. So if I want to send any, I'm going to put my own in. See, I've sent one to myself before, so it appears that if I wanted to add another one, I would just put a semicolon and then I could go back to the search box at the top and search for another address, or I could simply keep keep moving that. I could simply type the address in if I knew it. And likewise, I do the same thing for the CC. So again, I can put an address in there. I could CC it to myself if I wanted to. BCC has appeared. Now, BCC stands for Blind Carbon Copy. Blind Carbon Copy means anybody who goes in this box receives the email, but the other people do not know. So if you want to keep email addresses private, you would add the other senders, receivers, sorry, into the BCC box. So once you've added all the email addresses that you want, all you do is very simply you just click OK, which is over here. Just click OK, and then it returns you to your email box here, and you can see I'm ready to type. So I'm going to type my subject. Um, file request. You put a greeting at the top. And then we're using formal and appropriate business language in the email. Please find attached the file that you requested. Obviously, you've got to remember that this is about using business email. It's not like using a uh, a messenger service, instant messenger or something like that where you're talking with friends and you can chat informally. Please make sure that you use properly spelt English, formal English and you put a greeting, the message and an appropriate sign off at the bottom. In another tutorial we'll look at adding email signatures later on. Now I could send that now if I wanted to but I've stated in there that I want to add an attachment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click attach file and then what I get is a list of my uh, files or it takes me to a, men a menu where I can browse. I'm going to go to my desktop because the file that I want is on my desktop. I'm just going to pick this one, double click and it uploads the file and you can now see that I've got an attached box and a copy of this file. Okay, And that's the one that I want. I'm going to check that I've got all the addresses that I want that I've put a subject in, that I've attached the document and that my language in the email is appropriate. It is, so I'm going to click send and you'll see hopefully in a second there my emails appeared. Okay. Now I'm going to double click on that email and you can see this is the email appearing over on the right hand side. You can see at the top there that I've now got my attachment and I can right click and I can actually save that. I could choose to download it and save that. You can see the little exclamation mark because I set it as an important email. And you can see the paper clip that shows me in my um, list of emails that this contains an attachment. And it even tells me here this message was sent with high importance. Now I've got a number of things I can do here. I can reply to the email by clicking that. I, if it was, um, if there was other people involved in the email, I could reply to all of them. This allows me to reply to the sender. This allows me to reply to all of them, or I can forward it, i.e., I can send the email to somebody else, and it will appear just as below. If you forward, don't just forward it. This is what you should do. If I've clicked forward, and you can see the email has appeared beneath there. Again, you'd put the address back in. And it's always good just to refer to the fact that you are sending somebody an email. Hi, John. Please see the email below. Okay. Thanks.
Tom. So slightly more informal, but again, I've, I've put a greeting, just a short thing, so that they understand that they need that they need to look below at the email that I've forwarded, and then I've signed off at the end, and then I would send that one. Click send, and you'll see. Now I forwarded that email to myself. You can. One thing I didn't mention: if you want to search your your mailbox for for things that you've been sent sometimes your email box can become quite full and, and and you want to find an item that maybe you were sent a week ago or so you can type something in here so if I type in file what this should do is find all emails I've sent with the word file in it and there you go it's brought right to the top it's actually found the email that I've just sent a minute ago so that's a quick tour of the webmail app and you should now know how to log in how to send email how to use your address book how to use CC I've given you a quick idea of what BCC is about how to send attachments and how to set an email is important remember when you're doing this to follow the rules of etiquette so keep make sure there's a subject keep your language formal and use a greeting and a sign off at the end good luck sending your own emails and in future tutorials we'll look at some more features of email that you can use as well.